What's up guys? Thought I'd do a quick Q&A here as I'm sitting in traffic on the 405 in Southern California. Got a question on Instagram about elevating the heels for the overhead squat or the front squat to improve positions. And so the question was, why do you always recommend or is recommending elevating the heels even with weightlifting shoes, so like putting plates underneath the heels, is that really just a crutch or creating dependence on that? Shouldn't you work to get the ankle range of motion without the extra heel elevation? And the answer is yes, because obviously you can't have plates underneath your weightlifting shoes, you know, when you're snatching or, or cleaning. But the way that I always explain it is an extra heel elevation just gives you a little bit of slack and it allows you to really hone in on the other positions of the movement, like keeping your hips underneath you, um, overhead positioning for the overhead squat. So it just gives you a little bit of a buffer so that you can work on the entirety of the movement. And then over time, you wean yourself down. And that's why we like the change plates in the kilo plates in weightlifting, because you've got the five kilo all the way down to the 0.5, and they're incrementally thicker, and they go more narrow, more narrow, more narrow until you don't need them. And then on the back end, you can still work on actually getting your ankles to move themselves so we'll warm up barefoot you know like on the on the turf or, or away from the platforms where you're no shoes and then you're doing like a counterbalance squat where you're focusing on driving your knees forward you know whole foot is still flat on the ground but your knees are driving forward you're trying to maximize your ankle dorsiflexion at end range through the entirety of the squat and we'll do something like a split squat with an ankle focus where you're instead of keeping your front shin vertical in the split squat you drive your knee forward and you drive your heel down so you're at end range dorsiflexion through the entirety of the movement and then you throw your shoes on and you've got a little bit more motion there and practicing with even an extra heel lift with your uh, shoes on just really honing in your overhead squat position and your front squat position and then obviously when you train you can take the extra heel lift away so it's just kind of working it from both ends but don't be afraid to give yourself an extra heel lift it's not a crutch uh, it's it's something it's a teaching tool to uh, allow you to hit you know positions to strive for the, for the positions that you're trying to hit in training so hopefully that was helpful guys talk soon